All right, thanks for coming to check us out here today at New York Caternix. Uh, we're gonna get the day started off, right? We are gonna get started by incubating some eggs. I haven't incubated any eggs in a while. I've got a bunch of eggs from one of our viewers in New York City, keeping it true to New York Caternix. Uh, Sade, I'd like to thank you for all of these eggs. We're gonna get as many of these things into this incubator as I possibly can. I had to take the egg turners out. The egg turners were designed for chicken eggs anyway. They were pretty cool. They came with LED strips on the bottom of them so you can uh, candle them right inside of the incubator. Uh, more on that later. Anyway, we're gonna get started. We're gonna incubate these eggs. Uh, I have a bunch of containers just like this, five of them. I'm not sure how many eggs are in each one, but again, we're gonna get as many eggs as we can into this incubator to where you know we can still turn them comfortably and everything and it won't be too much overcrowding stay tuned all right so the first thing we're going to do is open and inspect our eggs and check these out all right and we have a bunch of eggs in great shape Look at this, people. So I'm going to inspect all of these eggs for any cracks and dents. Any ones that, you know, do have any imperfections, which will happen from time to time. I'm going to put to the side. I'm not going to incubate those. All the rest will go right in. I'm going to try to put them in as quickly as possible and keep the cover closed. Uh, if you notice just now, they rolled to the back. So I'm going to find a uh, piece of wood or something to level this out. Got four more I'm gonna to toss in here. Then I'm gonna go and have a quick count. So I've got the first set done. Emptied out the whole container. Got a couple of eggs to the side that didn't make it. Uh, make sure you leave a like for the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that notification bell because we will be doing an update video when these chicks hatch. Uh, actually, I'll be doing an update video periodically throughout the process over the next 18 or 19 days and then we'll finish up more than likely with a live stream of the hatch so like i said leave a like for the video and subscribe to the channel for that and uh hit that notification bell so you're updated as soon as that happens now again we've cleared out this first container i'm gonna go ahead and get a final count of what we got from that first container so i have four five six seven eight nine ten Thirty one looks like thirty one. Thirty or thirty one, roughly. Either way, let's see what we have here. All right. So I won't keep you guys waiting for me to, you know, inspect and clean all of these eggs before we get them in the incubator. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off the camera. We'll be back. Once we do that, I'll have the final count. We'll have our incubator loaded and set for, you know, an 18 day, 19 day period. And again, I'm going to keep you guys updated on that. So like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell because I will be doing periodic updates and finishing up more than likely, like I said before, with a live stream. All 
All right. So this is 95. And I'll be able to get at least another five in here. Oh. Trying to be as quick as possible. This particular incubator loses temperature really quick. We have exactly a hundred eggs in here right now. And I'm gonna put in six more. I'm gonna set one more for good luck too. We're gonna to make it 107, why not? I like that number. So I'm gonna take this egg, make it lucky number 107. And there we have hundred and seven eggs in here. And I can turn them by hand pretty well. If I come in here every, you know, couple of hours, don't have to even do it that often, maybe a few times a day. I uh, still have two of these containers, so I'm going to put these to the side and maybe give those away locally. I think I know a person. All right, so we have our eggs set. Our incubator is set at 37.5. It's climbing back up in temperature right now. Of course, the reason that it was lower in the first place is because I had to keep opening it to get the eggs in here, but we're going to get our humidity up. I like to keep it around anywhere between 35 and 45, 35 to 50% uh, for the first 14 days. And we're going to monitor that. Uh, this dial has a pretty good representation of all of that. Let you know when the fan is going, when the heat is actually on, uh, when the turner is going to go off again. Now I took the turner out of here, so that doesn't matter to me. But of course it does have the temperature gauge, the humidity gauge, and it tells you what day you're on. So you won't forget that. I think it's pretty cool so far. I can offer a full review until I see what the final results are. And uh, you know, we'll, we'll do a video on that. So again, make sure you leave a like for this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, because we're likely gonna be doing a video where we do a review of this incubator here. Uh, there's a space over here that I have to watch out for. Uh, it's probably something I'm not going to be very fond of with this incubator, but they did leave pieces of styrofoam that they suggested to use after the hatch, after lockdown, so you uh, wouldn't have chicks falling into that little crevice right there. So that's pretty cool. I might end up putting that in there before they even, you know, go in for uh, lockdown. All right, and thank you once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, leave a like for the video and please subscribe to the channel for more. Hit that notification bell so you're notified anytime we leave a new video on the channel. I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks again from New York Eternix.